Hi folks, this is Max from hcc1root.com uh, for this week's ROM of the week. Um, check out Paranoid Android uh, ROM. This is an AOSP uh, Android 4.3 ROM. Now this is an AOSP ROM. It is not a Google Play Edition ROM, uh, but it runs fairly well. Actually, it runs very well. Um, I've had no problems whatsoever. Uh, everything is pretty darn smooth, which is an important thing. A very stable AOSP ROMs. Uh, a lot of the AOSP ROMs out now are pretty stable, and they're pretty fast. Uh, great battery life, and uh, this ROM, Paranoid Android. For those of you who've never tried it, um, Paranoid Android. Uh, the team makes Paranoid Android ROMs um, that bring you tablet functionality to your phone. That was the main thing with the Paranoid Android. So if you go to settings, par uh, hybrid properties. You'll be able to change, uh, for example, this is in stock UI. I'll be able to easily change into uh, tablet UI by clicking there, hitting apply there, and instantly um, you'll get tablet uh, interface there. You may have to uh, mess with some of the values here. As you can see, it's a little bit, um, a little bit uh, wacky here. Um, so you may have to try some of these other ones. and find the correct one that will work best uh, with this phone. This one seems to be okay. Now you'll see that I've lost my apply button. Uh, if that happens to you, don't worry, just kind of hit towards where the clock is. There we go. And that's where the apply button just hiding there. Oh, there we go. So tablet UI, um, the one at the bottom works best uh, for HCC1 as you can see here. And I've got a full tablet mode going here and since this is a full 1080p screen, it does sometimes make uh, sense to run it in tablet mode. Now some of the other stuff you can do, I have a full tutorial guide on this, but I'm just kind of guiding through for those of you who've never tried it. If you swipe to the left in Paranoid Android settings, you will be able to go to apps, um, change your apps to run in uh, tablet or phone mode. Now this ROM does come default uh, with some things in tablet mode such as settings. So let me show you how to change that back to phone mode. Um, simply go to hybrid properties, go to apps, and go to um, settings down here. Oops, there you go. And change this back to uh, size, change this back to 360, and set the size to 320, and that around 320. And that should get you completely back to. Um, single line uh, stock mode there you go so you can do this with any app um, again I have a full tutorial guide on that so watch that tutorial if you want to learn how to do it and of course with the latest paranoid Android ROM uh, I've been actually running this on my Galaxy Note 2 as my daily driver um, you know the only thing I found is once in a while I get some weird uh, random Google search error but it's not too annoying but the battery life has been excellent um, and also you get the latest uh, floating point, uh, floating notifications which you can activate uh, by hitting that button. And that will kind of go through. Uh, other than that, um, you get app privacy. You can set each apps. Um, so let's say bri browser, you don't want it to read your contacts, you can do that. And boom, you have con complete control over all of your apps. And also some lock screen options here. You can add some shortcuts, um, enable see-through, and yeah, it's it's a pretty nice ROM. Um, it's not as full, full, full well, it's not as full featured uh, as a ROM like Pac-Man, which actually includes Paranoid Android um, and also AOKP ROM control. Uh, but this ROM certainly is, you know, the gold standard of tablets ROMing uh, on AOSP. So if you want sort of a tablet experience on your HCC one uh, with a ton of customization, well, a ton of customization for your apps so you can run them in tablet or hybrid or custom DPI mode. Definitely, you can't go wrong with this. And also camera works um, just fine. Workers Works very fast, flawless out of the box. Um, if you want Photosphere, you can go ahead and install Photosphere APK file, which will give you a uh, Photosphere. And also, you'll be able to get Flash uh, by installing a Flash Player APK, which I'll have links to on my site. Um, so check it out for this week's ROM of the Week. And uh, <clears throat> if there's any new updates, you can use the Paranoid OTA app 
uh, to check for updates make sure you hit allow and of course this ROM does come with root as all custom ROMs do most custom ROMs um, and that will allow you to check for the latest update so it says I'm up to the latest updates if not you can download the latest one and upgrade easily on this ROM um, so definitely nice ROM uh, do check it out for this week's ROM of the week for the HTC One GSM variant such as International AT&T T-Mobile uh, or Unlocked and do let me know what you think and uh, as always if you have an HTC One don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, HTC1Root.com we update you once a week uh, with ROM of the week tips hacks and more and also if you're on YouTube please hit that like button for me here subscribe button there and I will see you guys soon uh, have fun with Paranoid Android. Yeah.